Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm gonna to do my update on my A to Z project pan. I did not do an update in March. I had a lot of videos that I was catching up on and honestly didn't have a lot of progress. Now I do have quite a bit of progress, so that's really, really nice. Um, it is the beginning of April, so hopefully I'll have even more progress coming in May. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited about the products that I'm using and I am really enjoying a lot of them So it has been pretty easy to just kind of consistently use them and get through them So this is a fantastic ladies collab So if you guys are interested search it anywhere basically and the A to Z project pan is like everywhere Some people are actually doing like a book A to Z project. I am not involved in that personally I do like listening to audiobooks and reading but I didn't really want to get involved in that just because it's not really my thing that I want to film, if that makes sense. Anyways, so I am going to get right into this so that we can get through these products. I don't have all 26 products to show you. I do have one empty and then I do have other products that I do have progress on. Anything that I don't show you that you guys have seen in my intro is just something that doesn't have any progress on it, so I'm okay with that. And yeah, let's just get started. So today I am gonna go in order and I do have my little sheet with me. I am using a lot of natural light today, so let me know if the lighting is a little bit too dark or anything. I do have my ring light on like the lowest setting, um, but I have a lot of natural light coming out of my windows and I kinda like it, so I'm just gonna roll with this for today. Okay, so for the letter A, I have the Platinum Skincare Anti-Aging Toner, and this has lactic acid for normal to dry skin. I have been using this coming out of the shower when I'm not using a face mask and I do really enjoy it. Do I think it's the best toner that I've ever tried? No, but I do think it does the job and it does tighten up my skin very, very nicely. So I do like it for that reason. Um, but the intro, we were up here just at the top of the purple line and now you guys can see we are right here. I haven't been marking this just because I don't know, like marking things just makes it dirty now. And not only that, but I cannot find a Sharpie anywhere. I am going to the store today to get one. Um, my son has been using Sharpies to color pictures, so therefore I don't have any Sharpies. But I have made quite a bit of progress on this and I am happy about the progress that I've made. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep using it and this will be done by the end of the year. For the letter B, I have the Burt's Bees Soap Bark and Chamomile Deep Cleansing Cream. This is the face wash that I keep in my shower along with one from um, Platinum Skin Care. That's like a scrubby one that I have. And then this one is like my soft, gentle one. So I do switch back and forth between the two. And whenever I'm feeling like I really need a good like facial scrub, then I'll use that one as well. So I do love this one. This is like my back to zero like if my skin's ever freaking out because of all the skincare that I'm trying and stuff like that I will wash my face with this for like two or three days in a row and my skin will come right back to neutral and not have any breakouts and yeah it's really really nice I love this one if you guys haven't tried it it's only like eight or nine dollars from basically any store that sells Burt's Bees and I absolutely love it. I recommend it to everyone. For the letter C, I have the Davidoff Cool Water Women Uday Toilette. This is the full size 1.7 ounces. And yeah, I've been just using this as a room spray. I don't like this on my skin anymore. I have used up a body scrub, a body lotion, and a small size of this, like the smaller sample size last year. And honestly, I'm just sick of the scent. I want this full size out of my collection. So I've just been using this as a room spray and it has been working very nicely for that. I love it. I love the smell of it in the room, but mixed with my skin chemistry now, it's just not my favorite anymore. So that's why I've been using it as that. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep using this. This should be used up by the end of the year. I don't go crazy when I use it as a room spray. I do it like two or three times. And I probably only do it like once or twice a week because my office or like my room, like my filming room and my studio and everything typically ends up staying closed so that the animals don't come in here and get hair all over everything even though they do anyways, but yeah. So I'm just gonna keep using this. Okay, we're gonna skip a few letters here. I don't have any progress on those other letters that I had put in, but I do have progress on the letter H and that is the Hey Honey 24 seven Honey Day and Night Moisturizing Cream. This is like the smaller size sample. I did end up buying a full size of this. I absolutely love this for a nighttime cream. It does leave my skin like slightly greasy in the morning, 
but I always wash my face in the morning anyway, so it's not a big deal for me. If you don't wash your face in the morning, it might be a little, like, greasy and like not your favorite, but I absolutely love this. I have been using this every single night after I wash my face and yeah, I can't imagine this lasting too much longer. A little goes a long way with this though, so I don't really use a lot when I do use it, but I really enjoy this. And like I said, I've already bought a full size, so I just want to get that one out of my collection. Then the next letter I have is the letter K, and that is my Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Kitten Karma. And that's just a, whoops, it's a full size here. So you guys know what this looks like. I'm sure pretty much everyone and their brother has had this. And yeah, I'm just using this. I'm enjoying it. I have not used it as much as I probably should considering it is a liquid and once you open it, it does start drying out. Um, but I am just enjoying it and using it and loving it. So I'm just going to continue using it until it's completely dried out or until I can't get any more product out of it. But it's not something I want to use every single day. I definitely can't wear this to work. Uh, it's a little bit too bold for my work at the hospital. Um, but yeah, I do like wearing it for filming and I do get a lot of compliments on it when I do wear it. So for the letter L, I do have the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. This is the one that I did not get from BoxyCharm. This is the one that I had purchased at a previous 21 Days of Beauty sale. I absolutely love this blush. It is the blush that I'm wearing today. And I do have like a topper on as well, but it's just like such a nice, like satiny, blush and I think it just blends into the skin so nicely. It never looks patchy and I just love it. So I think when I initially put this in this project, I did say that I wanted to finish it. I don't think that's realistic at this time. So I think I want to just completely take down the dome of this product and I think I would be happy with that. So that is kind of where we're starting with the dome. It is used as you guys can tell but I just want to kind of flatten it completely out and I definitely think I could do that in this year. Okay, and for the letter N, I have the Too Faced Country Nashville Nudes Eyeshadow Collection Palette. This was one of my very first palettes that I purchased. Not my first one, but one of my very first ones and I absolutely love it. It just has such a nice combination of colors. I typically cannot use this one by itself, but I have been using it pretty regularly, especially this dark brown and this blue. I've been kind of using that as an under eye area. I'm not wearing it today. I am wearing my um, Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette, but yeah, I just really love it. So I did put my starting point at 116 grams here on this paper and I'm still at 116 grams. I'm hoping to get like three to four grams finished out of this. And I think that's going to actually be a lot considering that there's only, let's see, there's only like 11.4 grams in here. So my scale isn't exact. It only goes to the like highest gram. It doesn't go to like a 0 .00 gram like some people's scales do, which is okay. But yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I have a lot to go in here and I'm just going to keep working on this and enjoying it because I really do love this product. For the letter O, I have my Rosehip Oil and this is Australian Certified Organic Cold Press. I did get this from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but let me see if you guys can see it here. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but it's like halfway right here. Actually, it's a little bit more than halfway. I will admit I did spill this one of the days. I don't remember if that was in my last update or now, but I did spill a little bit, but I tried to, my, I usually keep my desk very clean, so I did try to salvage what I could, and I put the rest of it on my body, so I did end up using it, but not in the way I want to. This is the oil that I use on my face every day. I am currently using one from Cora's that I'm just trying to get out of my collection in my Drop 10 by Summer, but this one should be used up by the end of the year. I do love using this and I do think it does great things to my skin. For the letter Q, I have the Tristique Mini Highlight Stick 
and this is in Maldives Luminescent. I haven't used this a ton. I am still working on my Becca Liquid Illuminator, but this one is just a mini stick. I do think it's going to go pretty quickly here once I do start using it. I do plan on using this a little bit more in the summertime, especially on my collarbone area and stuff. And I have been really liking this over my foundation too. So I'm not disappointed in this product at all. And I do think I can definitely get through this by the end of the year if I really start focusing on it and using it every time I wear my makeup. For the letter R, I have my Disney Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales from Lorac. This is a lipstick and lip gloss duo and the shade is Risk It All, which is why I chose it for R. But the lipstick is very similar actually to what I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing Honeycomb from Bite Beauty today, but that is what the lipstick looks like. I have used this fairly like regularly. I don't wear this all the time, but I do like using it and I do like the formula when I do wear it. But I have been wearing the lip gloss a ton. So that is what the lip gloss looks like. And yeah, I've been wearing this actually quite a bit. So this is actually getting close to me having to take the stopper out of it. It's getting pretty uh, hard to get any product out, which is totally okay. Um, I was hoping to finish them both at the same time just so I could, you know, get rid of the whole package. But um, if I finish one before the other, I am going to keep it and finish it. I do think if I work on this lipstick, I can get it finished by the end of the year. We'll see. I'm hoping to do so, but we'll see. Something that I do have quite a lot of progress on is in the letter U, and that is the and that is my Ulta Mineral Setting Powder. And we are quite a bit below the last line that I took. And that was the February line. Okay, so you guys can tell that, see that line right there? And you can tell I'm all the way down here. So I definitely think I'm getting a lot of progress out of this. I'm getting close to the fact that I'm gonna have to take that little sifter out of it because I'm not getting quite a lot of the powder when I pour it out. And I do use this quite a bit when I wear liquid foundation, especially if I'm like going all day with my makeup, I will wear this. I'm not wearing it today, um, but I have been getting a lot of progress out of it and this will be finished by the end of the year. So something I'm finally gonna be able to start on is my Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. This is the full size one that I put in at the very beginning. I did tell you guys that I had one in my bathroom already that I was working on that was like this full but that one's gone it was in my empties last month or in March so like a couple days ago and um, yeah I'm really happy to have this going now and yeah I absolutely love this you guys it is one of the best like priming I wouldn't even say like priming but it's like a shine spray for me so I did use it today not this one but a mini size bottle that I do have in my bathroom and it does make my hair super shiny, super soft. My hair is still a little bit wet from my shower this morning, but I absolutely love it. I recommend it to everyone. You don't want to overuse this though, because your hair will get greasy. So I just do a few quick sprays, just ch -ch -ch -ch, rub it all in through my hair and my hair is super shiny for the next couple days. So I absolutely love it. And this one probably will be done by the end of the year, considering that I do use it after every single shower. So so yeah, I'm happy to get this one going. So moving on to the letter W, this is a finished product for me. I'm so excited. It is the Sutton Lodge White Pine Candle. And this I did get at Marshall's for $6.99. And yeah, it was a Woodwick candle. I absolutely love the smell. I can't get any more like burn out of it. It does actually look like there's quite a bit left in there, unfortunately, but the candle wax, as you guys can see, or the um, like the Woodwick part, the metal part is completely sticking out, which means that I've tried to light it multiple times and it says no every time. So this is a fun, final. This is a finished product. I'm so happy to have it out and I am excited to start working on my spring and summer scents. I love spring and summer candles but and in the winter time is when I mostly burn candles and those fall scents are just love them. Anyway so I would definitely I would definitely repurchase this. It did have a very, very long burn time. I thought that I would be done with this in the first month. 
and I burned it literally like every single day. So this burn time was fantastic in this candle and I would actually purchase this again, especially at only at $7 with the Woodwick can't go wrong. Then for the letter X, I have my formula 10.0.6 de deep down detox ultra cleansing mud mask in orange and bergamot. And yeah, we are working on this one, you guys. I actually work on this one the most in the summertime because that's when I really need that detoxifying, like cleansing feeling. I did work on this a little bit in the winter months. I used it, I would say probably five or six times but we are right there and I don't think that there's really any air in this pocket. I think that these Formula 10.0.6 masks are fantastic. I really enjoy them and I will be repurchasing this once it's gone. I know that Ulta is gonna have these on 30% off here after the 21 Days of Beauty sale and I definitely think I'm gonna get my hands on quite a few different ones. I absolutely love these. They last so long. They feel so nice on the skin. I don't have any reactions from them. And yeah, I just enjoy using it. So I do recommend it and I will continue using this. This will definitely be gone by the end of the year. Um, probably by the end of the summer, this will be gone. <laughs> then for the letter Y, I have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus cream and I have the shade light and this is marked to finish by the end of the year and yeah I've been using this actually every single time I wear my makeup minus today I am wearing a flower flower beauty foundation that I wanted to try out but yeah I've been wearing this every single day and I absolutely love it you guys I I put this in this project so that I could try it again because I loved it when I first got it and then after a while I wasn't really loving it as much and then I used it again in this project and I fell in love with it again you guys so I do think I would repurchase this. I have a ton of foundations to get through right now but I love the fact that it has the SPF 50 that is one of the biggest selling factors I think for this because I don't have to put on an extra SPF not that I'm really good about it anyways, let's be real, but uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this and I've been really loving it. So we are down to here. I don't think same thing. I don't think there's a lot of air in there at all. I think I've been doing good kind of squeezing it out, but it is a pump top, which I really appreciate. And yeah, I'm just enjoying this. So I'm just gonna keep using it. And the very last item I have is for the letter Z and it is the Makeup Free Zone. These are the makeup remover pads from All May. So I've really only been using these when I feel like I have that little bit of extra makeup on me. I haven't been using them for swatches, which was what I thought I was gonna end up using them for, but yeah, so I have one in here, that's why. I like to store these upside down like this so that the product stays, you know, in the ones that I'm actually gonna be using as opposed to going to the bottom. So I store it like this. And I don't know, I've just been kind of using these whenever I'm feeling like I need a little bit of extra makeup removerness. And then I wash my face after using these. They don't really leave like a film on my skin, but I don't really like the feeling of it either. So I do wash my face after using these. And I've actually been enjoying them. They're very affordable and they're so small that I don't feel like I'm wasting either. Cause sometimes with those big towelettes, if you only use a portion of them, you feel like you're wasting. And I don't like that. So I have been using these kind of sparingly. I was keeping these in my bathroom, but I actually think I'm gonna keep them here on my makeup desk to remove random swatches or random like lips that I don't really wanna wear that day or whatever. So I think that it'll be more useful for that reason. And that way I don't have to use an entire towelette to remove just one swatch or one lipstick application. So anyways, that is it. <laughs> so that was it for all of my updates for my A to Z project pan. Like I said, I know I missed last month in March, but you know, what can you do? I don't want to update you guys if I don't have any progress. I think that's silly and I think that's kind of a wasted video and kind of pointless for you to watch. So, but I am enjoying doing this and I am really enjoying watching other people. There's so many people that have finished so many items so far. I'm like, oh my gosh. That's amazing. <laughs> so I am enjoying watching everybody and I'm enjoying doing this myself. So anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye.